So today I want to do a review on the Too Faced Little Black Book of Bronzers. Now I got this at Ulta for $50 and I'm pretty sure it's limited edition but they're still like selling it right now because I just checked. Unless like by the time I put this video they're not selling it. I don't know. But anyway I just wanted to go through like and like do a mini review on all of the bronzers that are in here which is like how many is this? Eight bronzers. Except some of them aren't really bronzers. But that this is like a lot of them that they have. Like they might have like a few more than this. I don't know. I've looked on their website or whatever. And mainly all of these are on there. So anyway. They're pretty small. As you can tell. That's why this looks like $50. But I think it's good if you want to like try them out and like see which one you want because like before you buy the full version because the full version of one of these is $30 that's a lot the only there's two in here that I would repurchase probably if I ran out like I'm definitely like someone who always buys drugstore makeup because I hate spending a ton of money on makeup but okay these ones are my favorite this one is a milk chocolate and this one's a chocolate select and they're beautiful colors. I'll do swatches. I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see it all, but the colors are awesome. Like the milk chocolate is perfect for somebody who is pale. Like I used it today and obviously I'm really freaking pale today. And it just like, it's perfect. And the reason why I love them so much is because they smell so good. They smell like freaking chocolate. That's why they're called that. <laughs> whatever, whatever I said they were called. But yeah, uh, the light one. That one's the milk chocolate and that one's the normal chocolate. It just smells so good. Like every time I'm contouring my nose, it like, if I breathe, it like goes into the back of my throat and I can like taste cocoa. Like, it's weird, but I love it. And they like, those two, they blend out perfectly. Everything is good about them. They're completely matte. I like them. And then the next one I'm gonna talk about is that one. And that one's the dark chocolate soleil. And uh, I'm going to show you a swatch of it. <laughs> you probably think I wouldn't have any use for this color because obviously I'm not that dark. I mean, sometimes I get tan, but still this color is really dark. But usually, like, you can just tell right there that this one is way more, uh, like, warm tone, orange tone kind of, than the other two. That's why I don't like that one because normally I do use, like, a really dark bronzer. Like, I have an elf bronzer that's really dark. And I just use it to deepen up my contour, so I just use it really lightly. That's what I was going to do with that one, but it is just like orange. I don't know. It looks so orange, and I don't know who would want to use a bronzer that orange on their face. I don't know. Okay. Um, then the next thing I'll talk about is this. This one's called Snow Bunny, and this is a, a highlighter. <laughs> um, I'll show you what it looks like. If I, I just like blended all the colors together. I don't even know if you're gonna be able to see it on my hand. Yeah. It's like, you know, you can see the highlightiness of it. I definitely, yeah, I think it's supposed to be used. It's just a plain highlighter. When you mix them all together, they get pretty dark. But anyway, whenever I put this on my face, like it looks pretty. It's like a, a highlighter. <laughs> I don't know, it's not like major highlight. Like, I like to look like a disco ball and it's not that highlighty. And it doesn't like stay all day or anything, in my opinion, as much as I've worn it. I don't, it's nothing special. Like I wouldn't go out and buy the full version of it, but that's just me. Okay, then the next one is this one, which is all ugly and smeared because I used it or whatever, swatched it. This one's a pink leopard. It's like, uh, I think this one's supposed to be a blush and I think whenever I swatch it, it's very pretty. Okay, I don't even know. It looks really weird colored, like, like what is that? I don't know, it's kind of like brownish pink, but whenever I put it on my cheeks, it looks so muddy. I don't know what it is. Like, I don't know, but it looks like it has a, like, a bit of an illumination, I think. I don't know, does it? Like, I think it does. Yeah, it does, it does a little. So like, if I just put on like a normal blush and then put that over it, then it's like, like, I think it looks pretty, and that's how I would get used out of it, but I definitely wouldn't use it on its own because it just looks so muddy. Like, it's, 
I don't know, for a blush, it's weird. It's like, it's like maroon, I don't know. You just have to try it, I guess, to see what I'm talking about. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, the next one I wanna talk about is the Beach Bunny. Um, yeah, that one normally has like a bunch of lines of different colors in it, but since I keep swatching them all together, they've like turned into one, one color, basically. This color, uh, right there, looks, kinda looks like that color. What color is that one? I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, it, it's like a little more red toned than the dark chocolate soleil and it has like like a sheen to it whereas the dark chocolate soleil is matte. I don't know. So yeah, I don't really like that color because it looks like that other color that I don't really like. I don't know. It's supposed to be like custom blend so that you can like mix your own shades or whatever because obviously if you had the full version then you could like mix whatever shades you wanted because there's like four in a row. I don't know. I don't use it that much. I've used it before, but not that much. Okay, and then the next one is the Sun Bunny. This is so convenient. That one. And I like that one. Whenever I swatch it, I feel like it looks really um, coppery. Like I'm swatching it all as one right there. But yeah, it has like a really pretty glow. And then. I mean, I don't know. It kind of looks like that one. But I feel like this one looks more cop copperier and smoother. And then, like, the fact that it's supposed to be, like, let's see, where is it? Right there. It's split in half. So, like, if you have the full version, it'd be easy for you to, like, if, if you're, like, not that tan that day, then you could use the light version. Or the light half. And if you're really tan, you could use the dark half. I feel like that color, I guess the other color, Beach Bunny, would be good for, like, not for like contouring, but for in the summer if you wanted to look bronzy and glowy and gossy and whatever, like that kind of bronzer. Not like a contouring bronzer. I don't know, but I like that one, I guess. I wouldn't really buy the full version or anything, I don't think. But and the last one I have to talk about is this one. It's called Endless Summer 16 Hour Long Wear. This one is the worst one. And it's my least favorite one. I don't know. Don't know what the heck is wrong with it. I hate how it feels. Like, I wish you could feel it through the screen. It feels like, here I'll do a swatch. All my other swatches are like washed away, but you can see in that swatch, like, can you not see those chunkinesses that I just put on my hand, like in it? Like, I'm assuming it's the formula because it's like, supposed to last 16 hours, which I don't have any problem with the other ones lasting. The other bronzers, not the highlighter, but those ones last on my face all day, so I don't know why they needed to make an endless, like, 16-hour wear one. But I do not like it. The color, I guess, is okay. Dude, like, look! I don't even know! I don't even know! I just, like, swatch it on my hand, and, like, all these little flakies come off, and it's like, like, what are you doing? It, it feels like a dry powder that you, like, you would use on your face, just a normal dry powder, except it feels like someone like sprayed it with water and then like I'm like rubbing dry powder and like water together. I don't know what I hate the texture. Like I don't even want to use it. I feel like you know, I just like keep it on my hand but I feel like it's just like it's not gonna like blend out right because it doesn't look right. Look I just like put it on my whole hand and wiped it off like that and it just went away. How is that 16 hour wear? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if there's something wrong with mine or all of them or I don't know. I don't like that one. I would not buy that one. I would not tell anybody to buy that one because I don't like it, but yeah. Um, so that's like all of them. This thing's all dirty from whatever the packaging. But um, I would recommend to people buying it if they wanted to try like a bunch of Too Faced bronzers. <laughs> or if you wanted to just try a bunch of them to figure out which one you wanted to spend a ton of money on, that would be a good idea, I think. And like, I don't know, $50 isn't that bad, and even though these are small, I'm not, like, going through them quickly or anything. Like, I've been using them for a while now, and, uh, I haven't, like, hit pan or anything. They're not that small, except for the problem that is, like, like, these ones that are, like, like, that one and the half one and the four different colored one. Like, if you were trying to get, like, um, like, just, like, two colors out of that or something, it wouldn't be very easy to do whenever the pan is like this big 
So keep that in mind because basically every time I use this one, I just have to like swirl it, swirl it all together. But yeah, there we go. That's my review. Um, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. You know, subscribe, like my video, look at my other videos. Maybe you'd be interested. But yeah, thanks for watching.